Well, this is cool. A local winery in the national spotlight this morning for its craftsmanship, its flavors, and environmental responsibility. Yeah, Madrone Cellars and Ciders is a finalist in the Good Food Foundation's Good Food Awards. And here to tell us about the seller, uh, uh, to tell us more rather, the seller's founders, uh, Amy and Sean uh, Salamita. Did I say that right? Sal Sal Salamita. Salamita. <laughs> Okay, I have, a, I have a thing where I'm like, whatever I'm saying, it's always the opposite. Okay. So when we first met, I mispronounced it Aww. for a while. <laughs> well, thank you guys for being with us, and congrats. This is yeah. huge. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank you for having us and on we'll the show. We'll talk about Madrone Cellars. What, where do we find you, and uh, how did you guys get started in this? Yeah, yeah, well, we're located on San Juan Island, uh, nice. so not too far from here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so um, we have most of our products are available on the website, so madronecellars.com. Um, we opened up in 2017, that's when our little boutique winery started, and um, our tasting room opened in the, during the pandemic, cool. July 4th. 2020. That's, I mean, that's a tough time to open. I was yeah. going to say, what a tough time to open, but like toot your own horn right now. Tell us about the honor you just received and how yeah. that all came about. Yeah, well, we just won a Good Food Award. Um, well, we were nominated as a finalist. We're hoping that we win this time, but we've won previously, <laughs> and basically it's an award that uh, honors not only the quality, but the sustainability and social responsibility of the companies. Nice. Nominated. And yeah. what, what are you doing uh, to be environmentally responsible? Um, basically, all of our sourcing, um, we make sure we source from only sustainable, so they're um, live certified, that's low input viticulture and enology, um, or organic or some sort of sustainable agriculture. Hmm, cool. We like to, um, <laughs> most of our vineyards that we source from in West, Eastern Washington are salmon safe and live certified. So. It, for more information, you can go onto the Salmon yeah. Safe and Live Certified websites. But what they prioritize is that your runoffs from your farming do not impact the salmon populations. I love that because I feel I do feel like more and more people are searching for that. They want to yes. be more sustainable. Yeah. They want to live more sustainable lives. Yeah. And this is good. so you can enjoy this and know that you know <laughs> you're you know making a conscious conscious choice yeah. here. And yeah. we make sure that all of our products that we use at our winery are biodegradable and that we are not creating waste or um, hazard runoff as well. Very yeah, nice. so like in addition to the agriculture, we don't add um, fining agents or chemicals to our wine, so it's kind of like a cleaner, um, less manipulated style. Yeah. Oh, cool. So we also heard that we get to try something. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. Let me uh, start you off with uh, some cider here. So we brought, this is the um, 2021 Island Perry. Uh -huh. This is made with 100% uh, um, Asian pears and quince from Mitchell Bay Farm on oh, San Juan nice. Island. Yeah, so it's They've Island been organic grown. since the 70s. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so this is our finalist product for the Good Food Awards. Yeah, this that is we what we're to pour. nominated for. Oh, right yes. on. And then they announced the winners uh, April 21st in Portland at their gala award show. So and do you, we'll do you win a million dollars? I wish. I wish, yeah, I wish we did. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we do. Um, Thank you. you know, if yeah. you win, you come home with a medal and then also just the recognition of being a good food food um, award winner. But it's an honor just to be nominated, yes. as they say, yes. right? Especially yes. for this. Yes. Yeah. This is very cool. I have to admit, I saw this and I thought this was like a bottle of sparkling wine, but it's <laughs> cider. Yeah. It's a uh, sparkling cider. We okay. make yeah. all yeah. of our ciders. Um, Sean's background is in winemaking. He's been in the industry since 2009. Yeah. Graduated from um, Oregon State University in 2011 with a viticulture and enology degree. That's nice. And what's the what's the difference when you are making cider as opposed to wine? What, what's the what's the the change there? It's really just apples instead of grapes. Okay. Oh. So it's, I make it just yeah. like a sparkling wine, but I, it's made with apples or pears instead of wine gotcha. grapes. Ah. That is really nice. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. And then um, we brought four for you to try. You Whoa! Can, Whoa. Yes. Yes. You can just pour the leftovers in there if oh, you want, like okay. a little. Oh, like, <laughs> like yeah, you would in a taste oh, yes. yes. Preserve the same glass. Then. All right, let's do that. So, so we wanted to bring a few to showcase. So this is our Paquette Rosé. Um, this is another, uh, not a cider. This is made with um, the leftover grapes of Malbec, Cab Sauv, Cab Franc, and a little bit of Cinsault. 
That's really um, pretty. Piquette is when you've pressed the red wine and then you rehydrate it and re-ferment it. Mm -hmm. And what the result is, is a really delightful, fruity, low alcohol sparkling wine. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I like yeah. the idea of low alcohol too, because a lot yeah. of people are looking for those options yes. nowadays, exactly. yeah. you know? So this is only 4% alcohol. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah so okay. it's a really Light good summer wine. And you're also reusing, which yes, is great. Yeah, it's I mean, reducing yeah, the waste. Yeah, reducing yeah. waste, being able to use things, you know, more than once. <laughs> and then all of the, after we press our wines, we um, turn the, all the grapes into compost with local farms. We give it to them, they turn it into compost, which then we can use, you know, with on the products that we source from them. Yeah, where do you guys, where can people farming. find your wines and, and buy them? So on our website, mm -hmm. madronesellers.com, mm -hmm. and then as also our tasting room in downtown Friday Harbor. So oh, it's nice. located two blocks from the ferry terminal. Oh, nice. So easy if you're coming for a day trip. That's such a great trip. Yeah. So yeah. you need yeah. that, an excuse to come so visit just, us. Yeah, yeah, two blocks away and... Yeah, and we have indoor seating and an outdoor wine garden that we opened in 2021. Wow. Yeah, we built the whole thing ourselves. Oh <laughs> it was a labor gosh. of love. I mean, that's yeah. just, especially since you opened in the middle of the pandemic, which is the hardest time ever to start a business for any, I mean, <laughs> the fact that you're doing these big things, that is so major. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Amy and Sean Salamita, th thank you so much for coming on today. Congratulations yeah. thank to you. you. Thank you. Thanks for having us on. And, Thanks I, and I will much. take you up on your offer. I'll, yes, any, please Any chance come. to come on out to the <laughs> I know, I'm, I would love that. I'm going to hop yeah. on your boat and we'll go. Perfect. Yes, okay, please go. do. Done and done. Maybe not today, though. I don't know if the, the weather's uh. cooperating. So good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's with Brian. I wouldn't do it today. A little windy, a little wet out there. And uh, boy, our camera's shaking as we take a look at the great wheel off in the distance. This is our stadium camera right here. It is a bit breezy. It is a bit blustery this morning. But as we get into the afternoon hours, I think our weather's going to be much better. We just got to get through all of this.